now our simulation model is ready and we can run it so to simulate we go to the simulate tab and first we are going to do a model and scenario check to check for any errors in the current model and scenario so we click on this button and now it is doing model and scenario check So we see that um, there is error. So to check that, we are going to see that what the error message is. So it's related to the contact. So what we are going to do is, we are going to go to the interactions. Remember we first created this tie and then we removed the meshes for that. So we are going to get rid of uh, the the tie by deleting it and now we are going to do our model and scenario check again now it should complete the model and scenario checks without any errors so it is done now we can run our simulation by clicking on the simulate button so here we can specify whether we want to run the simulation locally on our machine or on a cluster so we have these options to run locally um, in an interactive or non-interactive way or to run on a remote server we are going to run it locally and we can specify number of cores so i have four cores on this machine and then i'm simply going to say okay now the simulation will start running and we can see the simulation status here where it is showing um, running the simulation so um, this simulation should take um, about um, uh, three to four minutes to run and if there are any errors or warning messages or any relevant information it would appear here for example um, while this start simulation starts running we'll start seeing uh, a couple of warning messages so here they are so it is giving us some warning about uh, compressive failure values or by actual stress limit we don't have to worry about these as we are not using them in the model it's also talking about uh, some elements being distorted or um, warped uh, now this is a small number of elements and um, we can fix this issue by fixing the mesh but in this case we don't have to worry about uh, this also now uh, while the simulation is running we can also look at the iteration tab uh, on the iterations tab we can see the entire history of how the simulation is progressing it, this is especially important for non-linear simulations now in our case it's only a linear static simulation so there is only um, time increment of one um, so it would take only one increment to complete the entire simulation but in case of non-linear simulations this can have um, you know tens or hundreds of time increments um, so large complex models have been known to run for weeks on supercomputer supercomputing clusters um, we sell the ability to solve models through these execution options of running them locally or running them remotely on clusters and the value of simulation is primarily to bring more innovative products to market quicker earlier to market directly results in more profitability for the customer so we want to make sure that um, you have uh, um, all the supercomputing or running on the clusters or running uh, using parallel processes available for you now we notice here that our first increment with step time of one second is complete that means our total since our total time was one second our entire model is complete now the platform is extracting the results for us so that we can display those results okay now we see the results are displayed we can close this